Domino's ingredients, Mundum Dixit. Edgy Veni Ud Facium Deus Voluntatum Zuum. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo. Sequit Erat in Principio et Nunc et Semper. Her in Secula Seculorum. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Dominus pobiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo. Fratres, agnescamus picata nostra, ut aptissimus et sacra misteria celebranda. Confitio Deo Nipotenti, et Bobis Fratres, qui apicab in imis cogitatione verbo opere to missione, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, idio precor beata Maria semper virginem, omnis angelos et sanctos, et vos fratres, orare pro mea dominum deum nostrum, miseriatur nostri onipotens Deus, et demisis picatis nostris, perducat nos ad vitam eternam. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christi eleison, Christi eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax hominibus boni voluntatis. Laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. Gracias hagimus tibi, propter magnum gloriam tuam. Domine Deus Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Onipotens. Domine Filii Unigeniti, Iesu Christe. Domine Deus Agnus Dei Filius Patris, qui tolis picata mundi miserere nobis. Qui tolis picata mundi suscipe de precationem nostrum. Qui sedis ad dexteram patris miserere nobis. Quaniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sanctus spiritu, in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Oremus. God our Father, your word became man and was born of the Virgin Mary. May we become more like Jesus Christ, whom we acknowledge as our Redeemer, God and man. Per Dominum Nosum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum, in unitatis Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexio Libri is a ear prophetic. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as a nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Verbum Domini. Deo gratias. Et o Domini, ut facium voluntatem tuum. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Et o Domine, ut facium voluntatem tuum. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me, to do your will, O my God, is my delight and your law is written within my heart. 
Ecivenio Domini, ut facium voluntatem tuum. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Ecivenio Domini, ut facium voluntatem tuum. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Ecivenio Domini, ut facium voluntatem tuum. Lexio Pisa Libiati Pauli Apostoli et Ebrius. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, Holocaust and sin offerings you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Verbum Domini. Deo gratias. Laus tibi Christe, rex et ene gloriae, verbum caro factum beset habitavit in nubis, et vidimus glorium eius. Laus tibi Christe, rex et ene gloriae, Dominus pobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo. Sequentia sancti evangelii secundum lucam. Gloria tibi domine. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, also has conceived a son in her old age. And this is the six months for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
Berbum Domini, Laus Tibi Christi. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Maria, auxilium Christianorum, ora pro nobis. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Let it be done unto me according to your word. St. Luke chapter 1, verse 38. When everything else seems to be not working, when human lives are placed at the mercy of calamities, catastrophes, triggered by global unrest and crisis, and the collateral damage compounds every day, we need to look back and see from our past how these disasters were resolved, not temporally, but spiritually. There is always a divine solution when all physical remedies fail. Scientists, physicians, politicians, monarchs would laugh at this. But the truth is, church history proves that God's ways are not man's ways. His solutions surpass far beyond any human reckoning. Even when we put together scientists, physicians, politicians from around the world, and still no one could stop this pandemic spread of a small virus, we need to ask ourselves seriously, who can stop it then? Today's solemnity of the Annunciation of the angel Gabriel to the Blessed Virgin Mary gives us the answer. It is an infallible dogma of the Catholic faith that Mary is the dispenser of all graces, being the recipient of the fullness of the deposit of faith, according to the encyclical of Pope Pius X, Ad Diem Illum of 1904. Mary's fiat in Luke 1.38 is critical in the plan of salvation of mankind. Although God in all His omnipotence could have saved mankind without asking any help from human beings, in His wisdom, however, God decided to include human cooperation as part of His eternal plan. But the big question is, who is worthy to cooperate with God's will unconditionally and with full consent? After almost 4,000 years of waiting, since God's creation of Adam and Eve, God finally found one, Mary. Now, why such delay? St. Bernard asked. The saint answered it himself. In one of his writings, he wrote, O oh, lady, the angel awaits your answer. We rather await it who are condemned to death. Behold, our mother, to you is now offered the price of our salvation, which will be the divine word in you made man. If you will accept him for a son, we shall be immediately delivered from death. Behold, the price of our salvation is offered to you. Immediately we are liberated if you would consent. Your Lord himself desires the more your consent, on which he has made the salvation of the world depend. St. Augustine expressed the same sentiment when he also wrote, Answer quickly, O lady, delay no longer the salvation of the world, which now depends on your consent. Now let's deeply reflect on this for a minute. Know that the coming of Christ through a woman was already prophesied in the Old Testament when a sign was given, as we read in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. A virgin 
shall give birth to a child, a son, and you shall name him Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. In the Gospel, when Mary was visited by the angel Gabriel, who was sent by God to announce that she would conceive and bear a son who would be great, who is the Son of God, the Most High, who then will take the throne of David and whose reign is eternal. Mary asked for a sign, as what is written in Luke 1.34. She asked, How can this be, since I know not man? The sign the angel Gabriel gave is recorded in Luke 1.36. The angel said, Behold, thy kinswoman Elizabeth, she also has conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her that is called barren. For with God, nothing is impossible. To this revelation, Mary said, Fiat, that is, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done unto me according to thy word. Luke 1, 38. With Mary's fiat, Jesus is conceived in her womb as the God-man. Her fiat begins the priesthood of Christ to mediate between God and man. Her fiat begins Jesus' role as the sole mediator, according to 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 of St. Paul. Her fiat also begins Jesus' suffering as a victim priest. And listen to this, it begins the alliance of the hearts of Jesus and Mary, as John Paul II explained it in his September 15, 1985, Insignamenti, or Recorded Teachings. Further, Mary's fiat begins her role as the new Eve in contraposition to the old Eve. Her fiat opens heaven and closes hell, while Eve closed heaven and opened hell to all mankind. Mary's fiat destroys death and brings life to mankind, while the old Eve destroyed life and brought death to us mankind. Her fiat crosses the head of the serpent, as already prophesied in Genesis 3.15 and converts her spiritual children as the new Eve into children of God. In contrast, the old Eve made all humanity slaves to Satan and doomed to hell by her and Adam's disobedience to God's command. This is found in Genesis chapter 3, verse 3, and chapter 2, verse 17. With Mary's fiat, Hell trembled with horror, particularly the devils, because from then on, Lucifer would only have a few days left before his final defeat and captivity. Likewise, those who are in Sheol, those who are not among the damned, like Adam and Eve, St. Joseph, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, and other just men like them, would rejoice, for their long-awaited salvation would be close at hand. Now you might ask, why is Mary important in our salvation? Understand that God did not want to redeem mankind except with the cooperation of man. Mary, the new Eve, is chosen as the prime collaborator of Jesus the new Adam, in God's plan of salvation. As Eve in the Old Testament is the main collaborator of Adam in bringing damnation to mankind. Also in the hierarchy of the basic elements of our Catholic faith, the Trinity ranks first a truth unknown to the Old Testamentarian people of God, but publicly revealed only in the New Testament, recorded in the Annunciation of 
Mary's narrative in Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. Saint Pius the tenth in his encyclical Adiem Ilum Letissimum wrote, The Blessed Virgin is the neck that connects Christ the head to the church, his mystical body. Pius the ten therefore concluded that no grace flows to the church, Jesus' mystical body, without passing through Mary, the neck. In short, the graces we ask from God when course through Mary cannot be refused by Jesus, as written in John 2, verses 4 to 5, 11, when Jesus miraculously turned water into wine at the wedding feast at Cana, upon Mary's request. Woman, what is said to you unto me? My hour has not come. Mary said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. This beginning of miracle, which Jesus did in Cana, Galilee, manifested his glory, and his disciples believe in him. With this explained, we now understand why Mary is our advocate, whom the Catholic Church has always turned to during times of great difficulty and suffering. In 1643, the infamous bubonic plague, known also as the Black Plague, nearly wiped out the whole of Europe, killing at least 150 million people. The contagion was stopped only when the people of France pleaded to God for help by taking recourse to Mary. They consecrated themselves to her with a promise to make a solemn procession with the Blessed Eucharist on September 8, our Blessed Mother's birthday, with the local bishop and all the priests joining him for the consecration and procession into all the towns. This they did to beg for the end of the epidemic, an act which they promised to repeat every year on Mary's birthday in thanksgiving for the Blessed Mother's powerful intercession. A day after our Blessed Mother's birthday, the miracle happened. The contagion instantly stopped and vanished, and with it, the threat of total annihilation of Europe. We are now in the midst of a terrible pandemic crisis caused by a small virus that is claiming hundreds, even maybe thousands, and I pray not millions later on. If all remedies continue to fail, we can resort to all kinds of human solutions to save this situation. We have locked down cities and towns, closed our borders, put our people nearly under house arrest, pour in all the medical resources we have, shut down businesses, even our churches, and canceled most of our masses. But aren't these all human solutions? If Mary could stop the Black Plague that nearly devastated the entire Europe, a plague which history records as the worst to hit humanity, why could we not have recourse to Mary again now? Even if news tells us that vaccines are being developed to help stop the spread of the contagion, the death toll is rising and continues to rise if we only resort to human natural solutions. Don't look down, not even to only look what is before us. Look up. Heaven provides the answer for our crisis now. God has given us the advocate, our perpetual help, who can immediately help us with the remedy we need, our Blessed Mother. Let us 
priests, and dear bishops, consecrate ourselves to Mary's Immaculate Heart and carry her image with the Blessed Eucharist in solemn procession all over the dioceses affected by this contagion of coronavirus, just like what the French people did in Lyon in 1643. Just like some brave bishops who process the Blessed Sacrament in the streets of their diocese, we saw Bishop Joseph Strickland of Texas of the United States and Bishop Alphonsus Collinan of Waterford and Lismore in Ireland, and other courageous priests who took to the air, land, and sea, carrying the Blessed Sacrament, blessing the people, with the statue of Our Lady of Fatima, carried by their faithful, doing this brave act. Let us join in spirit, if not physically, the consecration that will happen today, March 25, 2020, in Fatima, led by Antonio Cardinal Marto, who will renew the consecration of the whole Portugal to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and who invites all peoples to join them in spirit in consecrating themselves to the Blessed Mother's Immaculate Heart, beginning with the praying of the Rosary at 6.30 in the evening, Fatima time. The Fatima seer, Sister Lucia, in her letter to Father Augustine Fentes in 1957 said that, the last weapon given us by God is Mary. She is the one who will crush the head of the serpent in the final battle with Satan to the praying of the rosary and by making the devotion of the first Saturday conjoint with the first Friday of the Sacred Heart of Jesus with its four elements, confession, adoration, rosary, and Eucharistic sacrifice of the Mass. I know it's difficult, if not short, of a miracle. If we can get our priests, especially our bishops, to consecrate or reconsecrate our parish families and dioceses to the heart of Jesus and Mary today. But we still have the first Friday, first Saturday of April, April 3 and 4. Some of us may not be able to come for the overnight reparation vigil, which we always hold in our Afi chapters all over the world. But we can pray the consecration to the alliance of the two hearts in our homes with our families and pray the rosary as a knock of petition to our Blessed Mother for the end of this global contagion. The sudden end of the Black Plague that ravaged Europe was no short of a miracle. People prayed and begged for the Blessed Mother to intercede. She is our Mother. Our Lord Jesus cannot say no to her. Remember what she told the servants, even when Jesus said to her that his time had not yet come. Mary said, Do whatever he tells you. May God bless you. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.
Benedictus es Domine Deus in Ebersi, quia da tua largitate e cepimus panem, quem tibi operimus, fructum vitis operis manum hominum ex conobis piat, panem vite. Per ius acut bini mistem, eis pichamu dimilitatis consultis, que humanitatis nos si piri dignatis es particeps. Benedictus es Domine Deus in Ebersi, que da tua logitate e cepimus abinum. Qua tibi operimus, fructum vitis operis manum hominum, ex conobis piet, potus espiritalis. In spirito humilitati, in animo contrito, se si piamo a te, et sic piat sacrificium nostrum, in conspecto tu oggi et placi tibi Domini Deus. Laba mi Domini iniquitati mea, mondam et picata mea. Orate pratis ad meum et besum sacrificium e citabili piat apo Deum Patrem omnipotentem. Tosi piat Dominus sacrificium de manibus tuis, ad laudem e gloriam nomini sui, ad utilitatem quoque nostrum, totiesque ecclesia sui sancte. Almighty Father, as we recall the beginning of the Church, when your Son became man, may we celebrate with joy today the sacrament of your love. Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Dominus Pobiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, Sursum Corda, Abemus ad Dominum, Gracias Agamus Dominum Dei Nostro, Beridinium et Justum Es. Beredinium et justum es, ecum et salutare, nos tibi semperi tubicui gracias agere. Domini Sancti Pater, onipotens eterna Deus, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Quem inter homines et propter homines nasciturum, Spiritus Sancti e bumbrante e bertute, a celeste nuncio, virgo pidenter audivit, et immaculatis bisceribus amanter portavit. Ut et promissionis pilis Israel propiceret veritas, et gentium expectatio pateret enifabiliter ad implenda. Per quem maestatim tuum adorant exercitus angelorum, anti conspectum tuum in eternitati litantium, concibus et nostras bocis ut admiti iubias de precamor, socia exultatione dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Dei Sabaoth. Plenus un celi terre, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomini Domine, Hosanna in excelsis. 
Tegitur clementissimi pate per Iesum Christum pilium tum dominum nostrum supplices rugamus ac petimus. Uti accepta beis et benedicas ec dona, ec mudra, ec sancta sacrificia elibata. En primis citibi operimus preclesia tua sancta catholica, quam pacificari custodiri adunare et regere dineris, tot orbe terrarum una cum famulo tu, Papa nostro Francesco, et antistit in nostro Roberto. Et onibus orthodoxis atque catholice, et apostolice fidei cultoribus. Memento Domine, pamulorum pamularum tuarum. E tomium circunstantium quorum tibi fides cognites et nota de boccio, procibus tibi operimus. Velqui tibi operum doc sacrificium laudes, processo visci omnibus, pro redemptione nemarum suarum, prospe salutis et incolumitatis sui tibi cui redon bota sua, et anna Deo vivo et vero. Comunicantis et memoriam venerantes in primis gloriosa semper virgines Mariae, Genetricis Dei Domini Nosso Iesu Christi. Seret Beati Iosep, Iusdem Virginis Sponsi. Et Beatorum Apostolorum Ac Martyrum Tuorum Petrit Pauli Andrei. Iacobi Ioannes, Tomi Iacobi Pilipe, Bartolome Matei, Simoni Sittadei, Lini Cleti Clementi Sixti Cornelius Cipriani, Lorenzi I. Crisogoni, Ioannis Sitt Pauli, Cosmi Damiani. Et omium sanctorum tuorum, quarum meritis picibusci concedas, ut in onibus protectionis timoni amor auxilio. Anquigitur oblationem serve tutis nostri, seret cuncte familia tue, quesimus domine, et placatus acipias, diesque nostas in tua pace disponas, ad que obitena damnationi nos heripit in lectorum tuorum iubias gregi numerari. Quam oblationem tu Deus in onibus quesimus benedictam, ad scriptam ratam, racionabili mecetabilinque pace redineris, ut nobis corpus, sangue spiat, delectissimi, filitui domini nos Iesu Christi. Pi pridi equam patereto recepit panem in sanctas ad venerabilis manos suas. Et elebatis oculis in cielum, at te Deum parim suo onipotentem. 
Tibi gratis agens benedixit pregit didicui discipulis suis dicens. Ac cipite et manducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc es enim corpus meum, quod probovis tradetur. Simili modo poscom cinatesis, a cipiensi tum preclaram calicem, in sanctas ad venerabilis manus suas. Item tibi gracis agens, benedixit didicui discipulis suis dicens. Ac cipite et bibite ex eo omnes. Ic es enim calic sanguinis mei, nobi et eterni tistementi, qui probovis et promultis epundetur, in remissionem peccatorum, hoc facete in meiam commemorationem. Mysterium fidei, motem tuam annunciamus Domine, et tuam resurrectionem confitemur, donic benias. Unde et memoris Domini nos servitui, serit plebs tua sancta ius dem Christi filitui Domini nostri, tam beati passionis nec non it ab imperes resurrectionis, serit in celos gloriosa ascensionis. Offerimus preclari maestati tue, de tuis donis ac datis. Osiam furam osiam sanctam osiam immaculatam, panim sanctam vitae et tenet calicim salutes perpetue. Supraque propicia ac sereno bulto respice redigneris, et accepta abere, sicuti accepta abere dignatus es. Munera puerit iusti abel, et sacrificium paciaca nosi abre, et quod tibi optalit sumo sacedus tuus Melchisedec, Sanctum Sacrificium Immaculata Mosciam. Supplices de rogamos unipotens Deus, iubi ec per pere, per manus sancti angeli tui, in sublime altare tuum, in conspecto divino maestatis tue, quod corir ac saltaris participazione, sacru santum pelitui corpus, et sanguinim sum serimus. Omni benedictioni celesti gracia repriamor, Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Amen. 
Memento ecem Domine, famulorum famularum cetuarum. Este é Mrs. Weimer. Let me also pray for Santa Bakis, Nicholas, Don James, John, Qui nos piccisserum con signo fidei, e domen din sumo pacis. Ipsis domini tonibus in Christo qui scentibus locum repigeri lucis et pacis et dulgias de precamor. Nobis quoque picatoribus pamulis tuis, de multitudine miserationum tuorum sperantibus pati malicum, et suscitatem donari dineris. Con tui sanctis apostolis martiribus, con Ioan Stefano Mattia Barnaba, Ignacio Alexandro, Marcellino Petro, Felicitate Perpetua, Agatha Lucia, Agnete e Cecilia Anastasia, e Tonibus Sanctis Tuis, in tracorum nos consorcium estimato meriti sit venie, quesimus largitur admite, per Christum Dominum Nostrum, per quemi comie Domine Semper Bona Creas, Sanctificas, Vivificas, Benedices et prestas nobis. Per ipsum et con ipso et in ipso, est dividei patri onnipotenti, in unitati spiritu sancti, omnes honorit gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Oremus, precepti salutaribus moniti, et debina institutione formati audemus dicere. Pater noster, qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimita nobis debita nostra, sicud et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Libera nos quesimus domine ab onibus malis, da propicius pacem in gevus nostris, ut opi misericordia tui agiuti, et apicato simus semper libri, et ab onne perturbatione sicuri. Expectantes biatam spem, et adventum salvatoris nosi Iesu Christi, quia tuomis regnum et potestas, et gloria in secula. Domini Iesu Christi, quid existi apostolis tuis, pacem relinco bovis, pacem meendo bovis, ne respicia spicata nostra, sed fidem eclesi tue, e ianque secundum voluntatem tuam, pacificare codonare dineris qui vivis et regnus in secula, seculorum. Amen. Pax Domine, sit semper bobiscum, et comi spiritu tuo. Et comi xiu corpuri sanguinis Domine nosi Iesu Christi. Fiat apiceventibus nobis in vitam eternum. Agnus Dei que tolis picato mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei que tolis picato mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei que tolis picato mundi, dona nobis pacem. Domini Iesu Christi, pili Dei vivi, que ex voluntati patris, cooperante Spiritu Santo. 
per morte in tuo mondo mi vivificasti. Libera me pro sacrosanto un corpo si sangue in tuo, ma ogni vos in chitati vos mei se ne versis malis. Et pac mi tui sempre in errere mandatis. Et a te non com separare permitas. I night myself for every mass is at this time as being overdrawn the whole world at place them in the answer of Mary. In Jesus' of all grace, see me obtain by this presentation to the blood of Christ and the most holy trinity. In union with all the masses celebrated throughout the world for the past 2020 years, reparation for our sins, deliverance of the holy souls in purgatory, relief of the sick, particularly for Dre, Liam, Christian Leon, Marie Coronado. Deliverance of the souls in purgatory, conversion of religion, unity of mind and heart of all our brothers and sisters in the seat, the court, the AM, the Abbey. In the loves that increasing carries in the patrimony and holiness. As well as for the Radical conversion, full satisfaction, total healing and deliverance of all those who participate in the centenary celebration of the Lady of the The most the Creole Bishop of the Bishop the full growth of the city called the AMP. Radical conversion, full satisfaction, really. Very most successful global media, possibly global family, possibly. Participation in the the Bible, the Jewish anniversary, for the illumination of our clerics of the Lord. Genesis, the theology, and the ability. He also Successful sectarian in Ireland, in Poland, in England, in Barcelona. There might be many mercy, the most successful. There might be mercy, the most successful. There might be many mercy, the most Eci agnus dei, eci citolit picata mundi, beati qui acena magni bucati sunt. Domini non sum dignus et interes et tectum meum, sed tantum dic verbo et sanabitur anima mea. Domini non sum dignus et interes et tectum meum, sed tantum dic verbo et sanabitur anima mea. Domini non sum dignus et interes et tectum meum, sed tantum dic verbo et sanabitur anima mea. Corpus Christi siet men vita mitenum. Sanguis Christi custiat men vitam eterna. Et si virgo concipiat et pariat filium, et fucabit un nomen eius Emmanuel. This is my body. For those of you who cannot receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. O Jesus, I turn toward the Holy Tabernacle, where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. 
I cannot receive you in Holy Communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen. In union with the reconsecration of Portugal and other countries throughout the world, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, let us pray the consecration to the Alliance of the Hearts of Jesus and Mary on this special feast of Our Lady. Hail, most loving hearts of Jesus and Mary. We venerate thee, we love and honor thee. We give and consecrate ourselves to thee forever. Receive us and possess us entirely. Purify, enlighten, and sanctify us, so that we may love thee, Jesus, with the heart of Mary, and love thee, Mary, with the heart of Jesus. O heart of Jesus, living in Mary and by Mary, O heart of Mary, living in Jesus and for Jesus, O heart of Jesus, pierced for our sins and giving us thy mother on Calvary, O heart of Mary, pierced by sorrow, and sharing in the sufferings of thy divine Son for our redemption. O sacred union of these two hearts. Praise be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise be the Holy Spirit of God, who united these two hearts together. May he unite our hearts in every heart, so that all hearts may live in unity, in imitation of that sacred unity which exists in these two hearts. Triumph, O sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary. Reign, O most sacred heart of Jesus. In our hearts, in our homes, in our families. In thy church, in the lives of all the faithful. In the hearts of those who as yet know thee not, and in all the nations of the world. Establish in the hearts of all mankind the sovereign triumph and reign of thy two hearts so that the earth may resound from pole to pole with one cry. Blessed forever be the most sacred heart of Jesus and the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary. O dearest Saint Joseph, I entrust myself to thy honor and give myself to thee, that thou may always be my father, my protector, and my guide in the way of salvation. Obtain for me a greater purity of heart and a fervent love of the interior life. After thy example, may I do all my actions for the greater glory of the triune God, in union with the divine heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary. O blessed Saint Joseph, pray for me that I may share in the peace and joy of thy holy death. Amen. Oremos. Lord, may the sacrament we share strengthen our faith and hope in Jesus, born of a virgin, and truly God and man. By the power of his resurrection, may we come to eternal joy. Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Dominus Pobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Ite misa es, Deo gratias. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, bind into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. 